Like if you see someone and they have it in them to to want to fight back, it's almost like even in the streets, you will give them a shot because at least they wanted to fight back. I'm gonna give you a fair one. I'm gonna give that to you. Now you're not gonna win, but I'm gonna give that to you. <laughs> Welcome to On the Child. I'm your host, Tragedy Gaddafi, along with my co-host, Mr. Act. What up, what up? Have it on the child. The guest comes through and makes their signature dish just for you. Food for thought, real conversation. Y'all make sure y'all do the dishes on the child. Let's go. Welcome to On the Child. I'm your host, Tragedy, with my co-host, Mr. Act, a.k.a. The Fixer. Hey. And we have no other than the queen. Man, I'm gonna go so far as to say the queen of hip hop. You know why? Because say it. one of the first, or the first, to bring battling on record. Now, I'm not gonna get a little too winded, but I just gotta put it down. I say the queen because this is an artist who came up in a genre that was full of men, maintained her integrity, didn't sell out in no type of shape, form, or fashion. I respect her whole fabric and DNA, especially due to the fact that she's from my part of the square. I, I can't do too much. I can't say too much. We have Roxanne Shantae on On The Child. Please Give it up for me, baby. Ooh. I salute, I salute, I salute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yes. Roxanne, we here today. Oh, I should say Shawnee. Right, absolutely. I can Definitely. say Shawnee? Come on, you Shawnee qualified. You can say Shawnee. All right, I'll certify. All right, everything solidified. What are we making here today? Because I know you know how to cook. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so listen, what we decided to do today was we want to keep it very simple. Because one, the weather's still warm. We're not trying to eat too heavy. Factual. We've already been in the house. Everybody has put on quite a few pounds. You know, those who decide to exercise, do whatever. And so, we're going to keep it light, but we're going to keep it really good. And then we're going to add a little touch of hood because that's just how we do. me. Exactly. Yes, that's right. How we do. Exactly. So, what we do is, um, I know people are wondering, like, well, you know, I have the watermelon here. Now, I'm going to tell you, zoom in on this. This iced tea mix. Now, this iced tea mix because, you know, you always got to have something to drink. And because what we like to do is make sure that everybody makes their own iced tea. Because we're not going to do it big inside of a pitcher for everybody. So, this is how you're going to make your individual. I'm going to throw a little watermelon in it. I'm telling you, best shit you ever drunk. <laughs> like, you're going to be addicted to this. That's you're going to start, they're going to start doing this at home. They're going to start doing this at home. Absolutely. These two here are surprises. I'm not opening those up until the end. Uh -oh, now, this is, our, this is our salmon. Okay. What we're going to do is we're actually going to grill our salmon. But the catch to my salmon is, we're gonna call this Goodfellas slash Queensbridge inspired. Mm. Because our salmon, the preparation is called solitary confinement. So if anybody has been on forced vacation before, you know what solitary confinement is. That's where you go to get into yourself. So that's where you go, you marinate your thoughts. Mm. So I put the salmon on solitary confinement so I can marinate the seasoning. Y'all ain't ready for that yet. Woo. I'm going to tell y'all about that. I'm going to talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about Let's get it. I'm talking about Okay, so now, main thing, garlic. Okay. So now, of course, you know we're doing organic. Yes, yes. You know. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to do a little bit of a... Fake vegan shit, you know. Okay. You know how you gotta do that to make the vegans happy. Yeah, we try, yeah, yeah. We try, and we try, we don't wanna, we wanna be a little healthy. Yeah, there you go. There or at you least as much as we can, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But still have flavor. So I'm gonna need you guys to dice this up as thin right. as possible. Now, you know, in the movies you did it with a razor blade, but you know, we all, we got knives. Yeah. So I'm gonna need you to chop that up. Okay. And then we're gonna also have a spring mix salad. That's what's up. You know, so we're not doing no heavy starches. We're not doing no rice and breads, even though I love rice and breads. And that'll be for my, uh, when I come back on the show, when we decide to take it in the house and do some baking. Y'all heard, we'll heard that. Y'all heard that too. We'll get into mm -hmm. that. When she come back on the show. All Absolutely. Right. But right now, we're going to keep it nice and light. So this is our salad. And we can get into uh, preparation. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. So look, we're going to prepare this with, of course, the Queen Roxanne Chante. We're going to get into a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of rich history there. I can't wait to delve into that. I have a lot of connections to it myself and bring it forth to y'all. And we're going to make y'all a nice plate and we're going to keep feeding the culture. On the chat, we'll be right back, right to it. Roxanne Chante. Please believe yeah. it, baby. Boom. Box 
saying? It's like, I'm not gonna do this. So I'm gonna, it's like, I'm gonna make sure I got something for the boys to do. What's that you putting on there? Okay, so now this is, um, I actually have it inside of this uh, Spice Farms bottle, but I've mixed a whole lot of different things in here. So it's, um, it's just, if I tell you, I gotta kill you, so. Okay, well don't tell me that. Yeah, and I don't, cause I, I don't wanna kill you. <laughs> I don't wanna kill you, it's cause if I tell you, don't I gotta tell kill you. Me. I don't wanna know. But if you notice, when you when you do your seasoning, you don't want to do it all heavy. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't want it to be salty and heavy. So that's, you know. Just enough. Just enough. So we just put some fresh garlic on here. This, yeah, so they don't have you to use. It so you don't have to like use garlic that. salt. Mine's done. Let's go. Oh, so when you close it up, it's going all the juices. Yes. I see you. You see, like I said, when you're in solitary confinement, you marinate yeah, your thoughts. That's right. So and and you come out good. And then, gotta close that cell door. That's right, because it's for you right now. The marination's for you. There you go. Close yep. that one up. Here with you. Cause we all gotta have them by, by yourself meetings. You do, you do. If you don't take a moment out you to do. be with yourself, That's right. you see what I'm saying? Not a self, know there thyself. Go. There you go, you gotta know thyself. You know what I'm saying? There we go, mm -hmm. see? Boom. Let's take a right here. We have 500. Yep, they're about to go to the board right now. There you go. There you go. Hmm. Get free. There you go. There we go. This one. Yeah, this little hot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Boom. You're hitting them with two years. My lemon is looking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we doing right now? So now we're just going to make our salad. So we're just gonna put our salad in here. Now, I just want everybody to know, this is already triple washed. It costs a little extra, but this way you know it's already clean. In case you go somewhere, you gotta hurry up and unzip it and pop it in a bowl. So, you know, some people be like, oh, I gotta do the rewash, but you don't, because this is a triple wash joint. Right. And, and if they didn't really triple wash it, then, you know, we can get some money from them. It ain't clean. Right, we, we can get some money from them if they didn't do it right. Okay. But it's triple washed, so we're gonna put that here in this bowl. Let me just rinse this bowl out a little bit. That's why we're talking here. Now, I don't believe in slicing up tomatoes. For some reason, I mean, I just like the tomatoes to be like little grapes. I just like them. I, like that. That. I love that. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a Caesar, I'm, a I'm a Caesar salad. Like, that's my favorite Can salad. You so I always get those tomatoes. Right. So, that, what's, what's that called again? Um, this one here is called blush wine. Blush wine, all right. Yeah, it's called blush wine. This one you want to just get a little fancy. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to close that business deal. You want to think that, you know, you just take it to another level. get back in the crib. You know what I'm saying? You want to take, you want to get back in. <laughs> yeah, you know, you want to take it to another level. You just go ahead and hit them with that. And that blush wine, like, baby? They be like, what's that? Because automatically, the first thing they see is a strawberry. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it, it sets the taste buds up for something sweet. Mm. That's right. But just like and life, women And women just love strawberries. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Women love strawberries. Yeah. So as soon as you like, yeah. Blush one. It might work something for yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. It might there help you, go. you out. There you go, because her mind is thinking, okay, this is getting ready to lead he to some strawberries me. for real. He thought about me. Yeah, this is getting ready to lead to some I'm thinking about you, baby. See, there you go. That's what this is. Factual. So automatically, thinking you know, about you. it's all about the uh, packaging. That's right, presentation. Mm -hmm. Presentation is everything. Factual. There you go. And speaking of presentation, you know, um, we were talking about how rappers are today and what they're presenting and whether or not they're really able to handle that. And they're not. And I, I blame that on them no longer having that person that controls what they're doing. Like, so everybody has such yes men. And when I first heard the term handler, I hated it. Mm. Because I felt like animals have handlers. You know, the elephant has a handler. Mm. This one has a handler. The lion tamer. It has a, you know, so everybody. A lion should never be tamed. Exactly. It takes the lion out of its actual nature. Exactly. It's not a lion anymore. Forget it. Exactly. And one of the things that I never liked when people was like, oh, well, where's their handler? When you tell a young artist or even a young person in general that they have a handler, it tends to tap into something in them that makes them think that they like an animal. Mm -hmm. So they tend to act as if they need a handler. Mm -hmm. Where back in the day, you outgrew. Hold on, stop, hold on. I gotta come around here, cause you know what? Listen, like, like I ain't even playing no games. Come here, man. <laughs> I wanna go. I love you, man. Nah, that's, this is what I this is this is what I am. You're told, 
Your resume oh. to me. Now, oh. real spit, man. Oh. Real spit. I'm not playing no games, man. Oh, thank you. When I say it, then I'm, 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 I'm being aggressive. Mm -hmm. I'm being militant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, See? This is what I need, man. Absolutely. That's what I need. How to do that, man. Absolutely. I don't care who don't like it. Either. Love it. Absolutely. That's how I'm on it. So it's one of those things where you had to mature. Like, people confuse the purpose of a manager. Mm. Artists today are lazy as fuck. Mm -hmm. They think that a manager is now supposed to come in there and manage your life. No, they manage your career. That's right. I'm not responsible for an feet. aspect or a particular aspect of your oh, career. Yeah. And I don't want to cut mm -hmm. you. I want to no, add on. Let's do it. No, I want to add on because that's a lot of what I want to get into because, mm -hmm. like I said, as I'm looking into your history, obviously I'm watching the movie. Right. And it meant a lot to me personally when I came on your show. Yes. And I was very grateful for that when you said, no, yo. No, and I was thankful that you came. Yeah, you was like, yo, I got the idea to do my joint because I saw your joint mm -hmm. when I was incarcerated. And, 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 like, for me, that's a lot. You know, you know what I mean? And as I'm watching the joint, I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, that's still because, right, like, you can see from the gate that you knew what time it was. Even though, like myself, we got caught up. We did get caught up. Yes. There's something that you said, because um, I actually watched, um, you did something for, for, Sha for Kane's brother. Yes. Prior to your documentary even coming out. Yes, I want to shout out Lil Daddy Shane. I can't even call right. Daddy Shane. That's I right. I want to shout out Shane. Shane. That's a good brother. I love him. That's Big Daddy Kane's brother. Yes. Little brother, younger brother. Yes. Um, and he showed me something. I never spoke about it, but he showed me something. And yo, when I saw it, I ain't gonna fight. I ain't gonna fake no jacks. I am who I am. I'm comfortable with my own skin. Yo, I cried. Word them up, I cried. And I cried because I know what that felt like. Yeah. When you said you pulled up and you seen everybody with new cars. Yep. And you was like, wow. I and know I, that feeling, and I even know it today, but I'm going to let you, and let you, you go know, back and, and, and I think I want to touch on that for a second, because I, I need people to understand the... Because I've always been so loyal and so street. See, I come from a project where even if you fought inside of your project, and the largest housing project in the world, even if you fought inside and what, of your... And what, what project is that for Queens, those that oh, don't know? Oh, Queensbridge Public Housing in New York City, in Long Island City. Even if you fought in your project, they would never allow somebody from another project to fight you. That was the loyalty. That was what, that's what I grew up with. That's all I understood. So when I got into this hip hop world, I expected the same loyalty because if I, if I did a show, and this was like back in the days, if I did a show for $5,000 and it was five of us, everybody went home with $1,000. Not because I didn't know better, but because we all in this together. And that was depicted in the film, too. Yes, because we're all in this together. So I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, well, I'm the star. I'm supposed to get more money. No. In all reality, we're building something together. And, well, and at I least that's make, what I think. That's what, I, at least that's what was on my mind. Exactly. So I remember going to, we all went to this restaurant. It was myself, some Juice Crew members. Um, it was uh, Fly Tie, uh, Molly Mall, Mr. Magic at the time. That's the piece, Mr. Magic. That's the piece, Mr. Magic. Shan, everybody. So we all went to this restaurant, and I had just had my baby. And I was living in Newark, New Jersey, and I was already going through the struggle. Like, and, uh, you know, I was teetering because I know how to get money in the streets, but you're asking me to behave. But in the process of asking me to behave, you're you have asking to me to starve. Me. You have yeah. to right. suffice me from getting desperate and making desperate measures. I feel you. Exactly. I'm going to get into that myself. Too. Exactly. So... You know, you're asking me to, to, to be this way and live this way, but you're also asking me to starve. Where if I go this way, everybody's going to eat. Because since I got in this, everybody is always eating. Mm. So I well, can't... Oh, at least that's been the theme. Right. So now we go to a restaurant. I leave my baby's bottle at the restaurant because I'm rushing to catch a train mm. to get to Newark, New Jersey. Mm. And... I'm catching the subway, and then I'm catching another train. So you go back to the restaurant. And I turned around, mm. and I told him, like, yo, I got to go. I got to go. It's like, all right, see you later. All right, Shani, yo, okay. All right, see you later. Hugging me, hugging me, yo, blah, 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 blah. So nobody's leaving the restaurant, but I got to go because of the timing. So I get in the cab to go to Penn Station. Get to Penn Station, realize, oh, my goodness, I left my baby's bottle. And the thing about it is that if anybody's a parent, 
you understand there's two things that your child is used to, and that's the pacifying nipple and the bottom one. Right. Because right. when you try to switch it up on them, they, they get yeah, funny yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. going to be a long night. A lot of work. And, and, and I'm a teenager. Fact I can't have no long nights. I need this to go as peaceful as possible. Right. So I'd rather miss this train, go back, get the bottle, so I can make sure that my son is comfortable. Because now life is all about making sure that he is comfortable. Like you're not alone. I'm not alone. So it's not me on my own. I can't go to the dude, sit up in the movie theater all night and just let Somebody's the night go by. Somebody's dependent on you. Somebody is dependent on me. They're counting on me. So I go back to the restaurant. And when I go back to the restaurant, everybody standing in front of the restaurant with brand new cars. Never once did they say, Shantae, do you want to ride? Never once did they say, yo, Shani, let me do this. Never once did they say, how are you doing? Never how once did they you, say, your family? they didn't how say any living? of that. We ate the food. They made it seem like we was all on the same struggle plan. And we wasn't. Mm. And this was at a time where, how am I living like this? And I'm the only one who made records. So everybody is living off of me. It's disproportionate. Wow. Yeah, it's this is fact. not working. This that's doesn't that, seem right fact. to me. So, you know, I, I looked at them and they couldn't say anything. And that said everything. That said everything. And that yeah. the silence, sometimes silence can be so loud. Oh, that's a fact. You know, sometimes silence can be so loud. And I stood there and I looked at them and they looked at me. And I guess my son must have felt the vibe because... He was with you? Yeah. Because they didn't even give me a ride with the baby to the train station. Stop that's playing. that's what that's what even, that's how, how you think I left the baby bottle. Wow. I wasn't walking around with the baby bottle. I'm about to play. <laughs> wow. And so my son must have felt that because his fussiness ceased. Mm. Because he must have felt like something's going on here. You know, besides the fact that he already knew what aggression and everything else was because of what was going on in my household. So, and don't think that babies don't know because babies do know. They can feel. They can feel. That's right. They connected. So, they can so he just froze like, and I said, hey, let me just have the, um, I left the baby bottle inside. Didn't say anything. Didn't wild out because I think that's what they were expecting because, mm. because the Roxanne, Sh you know, like the Roxanne Shantae and me and the way I would normally wild out is I would, I would go off. Like we'd be fighting. I'd be busting car windows. I'd be going through all of that. Right. But. I had my son, I just couldn't do that. So I just said, I just left the baby bottle and walked inside, got the baby bottle, came back outside, got back in the cab, and I left. And I didn't want to make records. I didn't care about hip hop or anything. You I felt broken. A I little felt, bit. No, I felt betrayed. Betrayed. Yeah. Betrayed. I betrayed. felt betrayed. You and, were betrayed. And, and, and the reason why I felt so betrayed is because I would never do that. Like, still today, I, I will feed everybody's children. I will make sure everybody is good. But, the, the, not but cut I you, was not devastated. To cut you, not to cut you, at least for me, the reason why I say mm -hmm. broken, and you're right initially, you do feel a betrayal. You do. But I can speak for me, like, like because I went through a, a similar type of situation mm -hmm. with the same type of circle. Right? Because, you know, it's no, it's, no, it's no wonder we come from the same circle. Right. You know what I mean? And I went through the same thing. And that obviously, at first, I felt the betrayal, but then... For me to stop, for you to stop, you didn't want to make records no more. You felt betrayal, but in a sense, you do feel broken too after the betrayal. Because it's like, damn, like it just lets you down. But moving forward, which is the greatest thing. See, that's that's how you recognize a true champion. Right. Like I just said previously, Mike Tyson is a true champion. Of yes. Because he thrived in the ring and did his thing. And then, you know, life hits you. Life, life will hit you with unexpected uppercuts, hooks, and all that. That's the real fight. A true champion, after going through that, look at your life now. <laughs> yeah. Yo, ooh, I, I want to get to now, like right now, right now. You feel me? <laughs> He's like, let's get right to, let's right, get to, let's right get now, to the right now. now. You feel me? Well, let, let me just check on this other thing. Like, we don't want, we don't want, you know, they in here yelling and screaming. They might be ready, you know. It's an artifact. Okay. So what are we doing? So we now? got okay. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm checking up? just to see. Do I need to open this up? No, 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 no. We, no we, we, I'm just checking them to see because you can hear them singing. Yeah. You know how they start yelling uh. like, "Yo, I need yeah. to put on these crack myself. Crack myself. Yeah, yeah. That's what they try to tell <laughs> us right now. But we just give them just a few more minutes and everything yeah, else. Yeah, let them out. 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 Let them
Absolutely. That's why I opened it. I opened it like Thank five you, minutes yeah, ago. I got you. Because I'm, yeah, I'm with you. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Try to stay chiseled. Okay. So, um, so then after that, I, I just was like, I went back to what I was creating. And, uh, you know, they were saying to me, like, listen, you know, we need you to come back. This is how, this is how the chain of events go. I got to take my glasses off now. I'm getting, it's getting real steamy. This so, is crazy guy. So they said to me, uh, they went to go get a deal. But the deal was contingent on having Roxanne Chante. Mm. So they had to come back to me. Because the party, the larger company said, now we want Roxanne. We want Roxanne. Yeah, we want Roxanne. Yeah, we want Roxanne. Yeah. So, so where's she at? So now they're looking for me. Literally. They need you. They, they, I'm, they, that's what they're doing. They're looking for me. And um, Vaughn came to where I was living at in Newark, New Jersey. And Vaughn is Cool V, who happens to be my DJ on the show with me now. And I have a nice day show that I do for Sirius XM. Oh, so Vaughn's on it? That's my bro. That's the bro. Yeah, absolutely. So Vaughn comes to see me because there's still some members that I interact with, you know, within the juice group. Within the yeah, juice group. Yeah, members, so yeah. Vaughn comes to see me and gets shot. Are you serious? Wow. So he gets shot downstairs in front of my building. Whoa. So New York was like that too. New York was like that. Yeah, it was so, like that. You know, the first thing you think about is like, oh, man. so everybody's mad at me. Yeah. But, Thinking, yeah, they, but the they, catch is, why not be mad that I live somewhere where Vaughn could get shot? Mm. The bigger picture, yeah. The bigger picture, you know. But I held no grudges. And because I held no grudges, everybody was like, how are you not angry? And I was like, Allah is merciful. Do you understand? That's an artifact. Do you understand how good it is for me? Do you? Do you? People just, you see it now. Mm -hmm. But do you understand what it's like to go host a party? Two ladies look down at you and say, we've been looking for you because we want to do a movie about your life. Mm. You give them your phone number, the next morning y'all go have breakfast. Literally, this is the timeline. Mm. I do not have to stretch it or add anything. We had breakfast the next morning. They said, all right, fine, we're gonna do this. Do you know what it's like to film a movie in 28 days, have it go to Sundance before it's even finished? Mm. We didn't even finish Which is the editing. independent film. Thing. Which is, yes, yeah. and we didn't even finish the movie yet. So my first time seeing my own movie was at Sundance Film Festival with everybody else. My husband was with me, my son was with me. We were sitting there and Everybody kept saying, like, did you see the movie? What did you think about it? And I was saying, like, oh, it's great. My first time yeah, seeing the know. movie. <laughs> my first time seeing the movie was with everyone else okay. because I needed to see the reaction of everyone else. That's right. Going in to see my own movie, and they didn't even really have seats because so many people wanted to, It was the highest ticket. It was the first time the Sundance Film Festival had to show a movie three times. That's right. That's that right. First time that's right. That's right. Ever done. That's wow. right. That's you a know? fact. Okay. That's a fact. Because and and and, mm -hmm. and and even based on that, like when I look at the movie, because like my mom's always used to say, you know what I'm saying? And and it's deep because the first time, like I know your mother. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I Everybody know Miss Peggy. Peggy. Yes. I know Miss Peggy. Shout out to Miss Peggy. Miss Peggy. <laughs> um, I know your mom's, and you know, like seeing a movie, you put a lot out there, like. And, yeah. and one thing my mother used to say, like, you as sick as your secrets. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And, and, and I really understood that even more when I watched the movie. And that's what led me to be like, oh, me and all that, a lot of comment. Because, you know, respectfully, Miss Peggy, in the movie, you put a lot out there. And it showed how the progression of drinking. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot on you. One of the questions, I got a few questions within that. Okay, well, let me rescue ourselves. Get, 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 get to the food. Because, you know, we'll be able to sit down and Get to the food. You got me down. and my man on attention. I want everybody to see on camera. Put the camera up on me. We on attention when she's speaking. This is solidified, well-earned. All stripes are well-earned. Whoa. No, that might flip. That might flip. I'll be ready. Come on. Okay, well, yeah. let's get a spat. Do we have a do we have yep, a, I got a, a Oh, we have some? Okay, yeah, okay, here we go. Right okay, because you see me doing the the, the, the hood we're getting them up. Yeah, I'm just yeah, just, just, just like that. Yeah, let's just we, prop we, them up. Just here. All right. Yeah, we're gonna take them all off. Right. Oh. Watch it. 
thumb. Tragedy Gaddafi, co-host, Mr. Ad, a.k.a. The Fixer. Hey. Back with our guest, Roxanne Shante. Again, I'm going to say Shawnee. This is like having my big sister here. I don't know if y'all know this, like, and I keeps it all the way green, Beverly. I'm a bridge boy. My fabric is different, right? Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but if you watch during this episode, like, I'm falling way back. And y'all know I don't fall back. But sometimes you got to fall back to move forward. And you got to respect what came before you and realize that you're on their shoulders. You're standing on their shoulders. And when you get a real one, an organic one, if you don't salute that and backwards karate chop that, like your aura is not official. Your DNA ain't right. Your designs is way off. Now, nah, I mean that. I mean that. Like, like before we delve into the interview, I'm going to talk a little bit because I qualify to do that. That's right. And, and I have a lot of history with this, with this life. I don't even want to say woman or contain any that energy to a gender. That's how deep it is. Like, this is a G right here, more than you even understand. She needs to do three more movies. <laughs> like, seriously, you need to do three more movies because one couldn't even really break down the intricacy of your story. And while delving into your story, I realized a lot of things. I realized that I had a lot in common with you. Yes. Um, when you made Runaway, a lot of people will just credit you for the whole battle thing because, you know, prior to, there was always battles in hip hop. Yes. But it wasn't on record. Right. You're the first to bring it to record. Shout out to Sparky D. Absolutely. Shout I like out your, to I like your nature and your sportsmanship. Thank you. Because you were on top when you did that with Sparky D. She was kind of on the exodus, not taken away from her glory. Nope, not at all. Or her story. Right. But you were at the apex then. So for you to do that showed a lot of sportsmanship. Absolutely. And, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that um, I, would, I welcomed any competition. She was the only female who really wanted to try her hand at it. So I you was like, that, so yeah. yeah, so I can respect that. Like, okay, well, come on then, you know. Um, you know, I, I'll give you a shot, and, you know, then... I, I love you. I just love you. Yeah, I do. I'll give, you, I'll listen, I I'll give, you. A, I'll give you a shot, you You're know? You're a wolf. I, cause, I love cause, you. Because if you see someone, like, like, if you see someone, and they have it in them to want to wanna fight back, it's almost like even in the streets, you will give them a shot, because at least they wanted to fight back. I'm going to give you a fair one. I'm going to give that to you. Now, you're not going to win, but I'm going to give that to you. <laughs> and I may not be as vicious as I would if this was a confrontation. I'm going to play all the way fair. But I'm going to do that. You either. deserve yes. my respect. Absolutely. And so I'm going to give that to you. And that's why we got the right dishes for you. We rolled out the red carpet. You know Yes, why? you did. The you red deserve yeah. our Listen. respect. Can we give it up one time? Listen. Like, I'm on it like that. That's what I'm about, like... Oh, man. Listen, the red carpet, I am so impressed. The grill, the way everything is set up, you guys help me. Look at your little bro. Look at this your little bro. This is just nice. Like, yeah, like, look at you. Look at you smiling. Like, I just thought this was just so wonderful. And honestly, I wasn't really expecting it to. I came in with the food. said, okay, we'll come on. We'll cook some. But I did not know that you were just going to pull out all the stops for me. But, I am impressed. But, thank you. But thank I am truly really thank I am thankful. Well, honored to have I'm you. Thankful. Plus, let me just tell y'all, I seen the fucking show online already, so I was like, yeah, I got a guy like that. Listen, Bridge like, Boys don't play. I was like, yeah, let me bring out the good food. Uh -huh. yeah, let me bring Bridge Boys don't play, and Bridge <laughs> Women don't either. Absolutely. Um, I got to go here, right? Yes. Oh, man, respectfully. Like, for me coming up, like, we were part of the same crew. Mm -hmm. um, I used to get tight because I was a little dude and I was hungry. And I'm glad you spoke about struggle earlier. Mm -hmm. So as I go into this, you won't, you, you're not going to be mad at me at all. No. You're going to understand where I come from because you're a true G. You make G's. Yeah. Like, you make G's. I know what time it is. I know the hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I used to get mad. I never told nobody this too. I never even told you this. I never told my partner this. I saved this one. Okay. Yo, all right. All right. Bring it in. Bring it in. Is this getting cold though? Because we got to get Can, can we please just. Can we taste this first? Please, and then please. I go into that. I was going to say. Because this is not scripted. This it's is just staring at me please. like, yo. Can we please? Let just, me taste it first because you've tasted yeah. your salmon already. Yeah, because I know my shit's good. <laughs> <laughs> at, yeah. Forks up. Fork up. Yo. This is a great honor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Food for thought. Like, you don't eat from everybody's plate. You gotta eat from the right plate. So you know you got the right food. The ingestion is very important. What you take in your body, you know what I'm saying, is sacred. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna dive in. Yo, get that thing over here. Solitary confinement. Ain't nobody I'm missing. Not gonna front. Solitary confinement. Tell them about Banging. it. Tell them about it. I'm not going for it. And I'm not just doing I keep it greenberry. I would be like, yo, sis, respectfully, this you is ordered trash. <laughs> You're right. We could have did Grubhub. <laughs> 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 we could have ordered from Queens Bully. Shout out to Queens Bully. We could have did Queens See? Bully. No, but this is good. See, this is how you know when somebody's on their game. Because, like I said in previous episodes, the fish game is very real. You can't overcook fish, especially salmon, based on the texture. I'm a little slow, but I'm not that slow, and I know about cooking the food. Salmon, you if you dry, if it if it's too dry, it dense, there you go. Everything there you go. up top, sis. I know you're eating, but I gotta get it from you. There I you feel go. like I'm with my big sister right you now, are. man. I know I am. Matter of fact, shout out to Sharon. Like you gotta understand, like not to get too deep, like. When I looked at the movie and I saw the other girl, I was like, that's your mom, probably. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's my, yes, that's my baby's mother. Mm-hmm. My son's mother, Sharon. Peace, Sharon. That's um, right. Peace to my son, too. Like, so you got to understand, like, when you pulled up, and they don't even know this, because I never told them this, and they're, now they're hearing this. I mean, meaning my team. Um, I'm a very aggressive dude. I'm very aggressive. Even when I was little, I was aggressive. She'll tell you that. Yeah. Um. But when I humble myself to a degree, it's warranted. There's a reason why I humble myself to this woman. And this is not no gas. I'm not trying to put no octane in nobody. This ain't no putting no batteries in nobody's backs. You got to understand where I come from and what I come from. And the design I set out to be. That's why I can relate. I know I'm doing a lot, but I have to no, do it's this. Okay. I love you. I absolutely love you, man. Like... This, for me, this will, I don't care where I go with it. I do care where I go with this. But wherever I go with this, and wherever I've been before this, this is going to be one of the most pinnacles to me because it means a lot to me. Because I would have wanted my mentor at the time, how I looked at, to be this. Mm -hmm. But you turned out to be that. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And, and that. that, no, you got it. And, and that's an honor for me to hear that because what you don't understand, and, and I'm gonna put my fork down for a minute, is that so many people seen the strength in you. And for people who were weak, they feared that. So it was hard for them. See, you're the truth. And it's hard to live a lie when the truth is in the room. And you the fucking truth. You better stop, you gonna stop it. You hear me? Why are you doing that? And, it, and it's hard, it's I hard. Walk off listen now. to me, listen to me. And it's hard to live a lie when the truth is in the room. That's because you fact. never know when the truth is going to say something. You never know. So now you're in a room with them and the whole time they're watching you and they're now uncomfortable because they never know when you're gonna jump up and say, yo, come on, that ain't true. And so when you are the truth and you're in this game of hip hop, You'll find yourself being excluded from certain things. You'll find yourself not being included in certain things. Like they literally tried to write me out of history. They wanted the female rappers in hip hop to start from salt and pepper on. Mm. They wanted it to be that way. And I never fought that. I never said, okay, no, no, no. It was me, it was yeah, me, it was me, it was me, it was me. But the fact That's is, crazy. the reason why is because some of us, we are just the truth and we were born that way. That's why we survived things that others never could. Now, I'm not going to get into your story, but when you made it out the river, others couldn't have done that. Do you wow, understand see, me? Wow, see, you know what? I'm not even ashamed right now. Don't sit here. I'm not even ashamed right now. Listen to me. Nobody could do this to me Listen right to now. Listen to me. I'm telling you. 
When you and I'm letting this rock. Listen to me. When you made it out the river, nobody else could have done that. Nobody else could have done that. Man, they'd have been sitting. They'd have been. That's it. Do not have me, Listen to me. crying on my own Listen show. Listen to me. They would have made the news. You, when you came, when you splashed out of the river, others couldn't do that. That's because we the truth. They couldn't handle what we handled. They couldn't, they couldn't take care of, they, we became parents when we weren't even parents. I want to say this. When I, I want to say this. When I watched the movie, right, that's when I realized I was like, yeah, I got tears in my eyes. I'm, see, there's a difference from being tough and there's a difference when you're strong. Yes. Tough is on the outside, the exterior. Strength is in here. So I could cry. I could cry, I could wear pink, because I'm strong. So I say that to say, um, when I watch the movie, and I'm crying because this is a good cry. Like, this is like my family talking to me. This is like my ancestors talking to me. This is what resonates from the beginning to the end and back to the beginning. Yes. This is a full circle. So when I cry, it's a good thing. It, it's, it's, a, it's a reality check because when you when you get to a point in your life where you realize like there's so much fake apologize hold on let me let me dead this when there's so much fake aura and energy around you and you have to exist and succeed and thrive amongst that regardless to whom or what you realize and appreciate what's real and organic around you mm -hmm. I say all I have to say, when I watched the movie, I was like, yo, I didn't realize we had so much in common. Like, when you made Runaway. And those were songs I heard at the time, but didn't take it in at the time as I should have. Mm -hmm. I could tell hip-hop was a sanctuary for you. Yes. It, it Talk about that. It definitely was. It was, with everything that I was dealing with, you know, I was your, I was your popular neighborhood booster. I was... Um, battle rapping was was wonderful. It allowed me to have an income because growing up in Queensbridge Public Housing, which is the largest housing project in the world, we also lived amongst the largest hostro on the East Coast. Queens a lot Plaza. of people, uh, Queens Plaza. Rest in peace to my aunt Lisa. Yes. And my aunt Anna. She's yes. not rest in peace, but my aunt Lisa was out there. You remember? Yes. That. Yes. Seeing the new girls pull up and saying, rooting for them. Like the first night, you see that she had it rough. She barely, she got her shoes off now. She, it's rough Man, for her. She can't. The wig look a little weird. Yeah, she, she, you know what I'm saying? She done, they done threw out the car. She done rolled all on the con on the cobblestone. Because remember, it used to be cobblestone. Cobblestone. So she, she trying to walk on the cobblestone. And I'm cheering for her. Like, yo, you can do. I hope she make it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where she from, but I hope she make it. Mm. And the whole time, I kept saying, that'll never be me. Mm. That'll never be me. Because I'm going to sell these lyrics. I'm going to sell these lyrics, and I'm going to use these hands, and they're going to love me for it. But you, you, see, that's what, <laughs> see, you're a female. Like, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, these, I'm not, like, like, uh, in my, in my age, in my, my maturity. Yes. Like, you're a female thinking like this. Like, yeah, that's, that's what makes, that's what, I ain't going to front, though. I ain't going to hold you, man. That's a whole, that's a whole factory. Like, that's what makes you even ill, because I've seen dudes that, you know, maybe I've extended my hand to, like, basically sell their souls <laughs> and you never did that you nope. and i was going to get into that earlier how one time me and my partner mr at, at what's good it's good man you gracious i'm chilling you yeah. taking this in of course this is good food soaking we soaking feeding the, the culture up. this is good food soaking the Hold game on, let's up. go back again roxanne Shante, let's give it up one more time I i'm gonna give it up a couple more times man i have to because it means so much to me like initially you gotta understand the first time I met Roxanne Chante wasn't even through music. True. My mother was a booster, rest in peace. And my mother was going to see Miss Peggy. Mm-hmm. I thought you lived in the fourth floor? Sixth. Sixth floor, okay. I was a little off. Capone's building. Though. That's right. Yeah, Cayenne building. Shout well, out to it, Capone. Well, it became, it became uh, Capone's building after Later. I left. Yeah, because <laughs> but when I first was growing up in the building, it was Hannah building. That's a fact. See? That's a fact. See, and it wasn't until they, until, That's you know, a fact. That's you had to fact. earn your building. You that's know. right, that's right. You, you had know, to, your building belonged to somebody else. Stripes all well earned. Yeah. Um, the first time I met Shante was my mom's was a booster. My mother was a booster wrestling because respectfully. Love my mom, a queen, regardless of who what. And my, I, I used to, my mom used to go boost and I used to go with her. That's the first time I met Shante. Had nothing to do with music.
Yes, but I heard of Shantae, and my mother didn't even know I was into music. But when I went up there, I was watching Shantae. She was there. She paid me no mind. <laughs> you was doing whatever you was doing, walking around. I was like, that's Shantae. Oh, shit. She was fly, always fly. And I was like, wow. I was quiet. I was still. But I paid attention. And I was like, oh, shit. That's Shantae. I wanted to be. You know, the only reason why I didn't tell her I was into music was because of the reason I was there. I was I would have been embarrassed to say that. That's what that's why I commend you later on in life as I as I grew as a man and I say, yo, you put a lot out there. And now it makes me recall the jewels my mom used to give me. You sick as your secrets. You sick as your secrets. For you secrets. to put that in a movie that she was boosting I met you because my mother was a booster. Listen to me. Let me just tell you this. That shit just fucks me Listen up, to man. me. I got the chills right Listen there. to me. Your mom. God rest her soul. Your mom was the best tag papa ever. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Your mom had a technique that she could use a spoon. And this is when the store started getting these white tags. And I'm not going to put her whole life out there but put these white tags. And I said to her, please. I just need to know that part of the technique. <laughs> That's crazy. Because now, now I'm going into bigger stores. <laughs> and I need to get out quicker. Well, so you know what I'm saying? So could, so could you please just show Put me that me on, yeah. She said, look, I'm going to show you one time. Because if it's meant for you to know, I only got to show you once. Because you know how your mom was. That's she how she's she, That's it. She's not going to repeat this. That's you're not going to get left back and learn this over and over again. She's not that type of that's teacher. My, that's how, that's, you, how, that's why I got the speed I got. Absolutely. She's like, everything needs to be done just like this. That's a fact. So I'm going to show it to you one time. And that's it. Ooh, baby. Oh, I, 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 you, I could, I I could thank you. her for at least half the clothes in the eighties. I, I, I love you, man. And when I when I when I when I saw the movie, when I saw the movie and I really took it in, like and then I watched some I watched some other documentaries on you and got some more info on you, some more some more intel. I was like, man. cause I'm looking and I'm like, yo, she got pimples on her face and she got braces. But the dudes doing the documentary were focusing on your body with the camera. And, and remember I said that? Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I don't like that. Because that's not what she was about ever. Why are they doing it? Mm -hmm. Which, you know, I kind of spoke of earlier when I asked you how, and you answered, but, yo, that makes you even more of a champion. Because you can't put a price on integrity. And as far as... Like you didn't utilize, you didn't use your female prowess to get where you at. That shit was all struggle and fight. And like, yo, like I'm built for fight. Like I'm really built for fight. Yes. I don't care what nobody say. I'm really built for fight and I'm a natural warrior. So I respect another warrior such as myself. And I love you for that. Like, I really love you for that. That's why you're like, yo, nigga, just tell me what I need to do. And I'm like, nah. But see, that's because for so long, you've never seen yourself in the true royalty and warrior position that you are. Oh, shit, you let me walk down this road. Let yeah. me walk down this You got to, you got to. you never seen yourself as that. So that's why when I, that's why when I tell you, like, listen, like, we here. Yeah, factual. You know what I'm saying? We factual. here. So all you need to do is, you need to, you need to just tell me what it is you need me to do. The same way if I called you in and we needed to do something, you'd be like, all right, well, just tell me what it is that's I need fact. to do. That's a fact. You know, that's what we, that's what you do. See, a warrior will accept. And I want to say a general, and even more so than that. But we will accept orders from another general or another warrior. But you got to be another general. But you got to. You got to qualify. Because, see, what I said to you, I won't say to every fucking body. That's I won't tell fact. everybody, oh, yeah, no, listen, tell me what you... The rest of it, I tell you what I'm going to do. That's a fact. That's a but fact. I greet you with, with love and respect and say, tell me what you want me to do. That's and that's fact. what I love would you do. Love you for that. Love you know for that. Beyond this game. Absolutely. Um, we from the Juice Crew. We came up in the Juice yes. Crew. Yes, yes. I watched the Vlad interview. The, the bro, my partner, Mr. Ad, was like, yo... You got to look at this. And Vlad was going down the list of Juice Crew members. Mm -hmm. And he left me out. And he was like, Tragedy Gaddafi. That's right. And my brother was like, yo, she couldn't wait to say that. She was holding that in the chamber. And I was like, that's a, that's a whole factory. That's Greenberry. Um, and based on that, like, what's good with Biz, man? Biz is doing well. He is doing well. Um, he's in recovery. Um, 
he had he had to deal with the diabetes and sometimes again that's the reason why we're sitting here and we're trying to eat like this now more natural yeah exactly and we, we're Speaking focusing of, on making sure to uh you know stay away from certain things and it had a lot to do with being in the house uh, especially um during the time of covid and you okay. know we're, and we're eating everything and so that's what happened so his numbers slid up so he wanted to make sure that he was right and exact before coming back and presenting stuff and i tell people all the time as an entertainer we give you so much of our lives that some of it we need to keep for ourselves and one of the main things that you need to do during recovery because i'm a two-time breast cancer survivor two -time yes you are yes breast you are. cancer survivor yes you are and each time i went through my struggles i never made it public why because the same amount of people that are wishing you make it same amount of people wishing you don't mm -hmm. and right then and there you can't struggle with that type of fight in the universe so you just need to take what it is and your energies and he's getting all the love and the energies from the family and and a close circle and so we're just making sure that he's good so yeah, so shout out to Biz. Shout out to Biz. Peace to Biz. Do you know Biz? Legend. Biz took me more, more than a legend to me. Biz took me to my first show mm. where I met the Fresh Prince before he was the Fresh Prince. That's right. Biz took me there. I was in Queensbridge, as you know, mm -hmm. on the corner, and Biz pulled up in the cab and was like, yo, you want to come to the show with me? And I was like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had like a pack of crack on me. How old were you? I was probably about 14. Mm. Probably about 14 years old. And Biz took me to my first show and I went there and got busy. And I remember seeing the Fresh Prince there. He came, he was out of high school in Hall. Fresh Prince as in Will Smith. Will Smith. Smith. That's okay. right. Yes, that's an artifact. That's right. That's an artifact. And um, I mean, I could do this with you forever. But I realized the importance of journalism. And for me, there's an intimate connection to you that I didn't even really put out all the way right here because I don't want to get too emotional. I'm keeping it real. And I'm a wolf. Now, I'm a wolf. and and But I'm at a point where, like, I, I respect what's real to me, man. Like, you know, rest in peace to my moms. I don't have that anymore. So just being around you is a reflection of and remembrance of a time that grew me and manufactured me, and that means a lot to me. And that you know means so much to me, Like, too. that's off the No Bullshit album, DVD series, and documentary. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, um, during our climb, we'll have people that try to shoot at our caliber and our character, and I would never do that. And respectfully, I understand that. Like you said, you just you gave it up all the way when you said what you said about being the truth. In yes, the room. yes. Being the truth in the room, and you know, there's not not gonna really say to add on to that because you just said it for exactly what it is. A lot of people would be, yo, she she said she had a PhD or whatever. I want to get to that only because, only because, like, that's what people, there's, not, there's nothing really nobody can really shoot at you about. True. Your shit is so thorough. Like, why did people say, like, yo, that was a, a false? Um, I think what it was is that they looked at it from the fact of Roxanne Shante being so street and being so hood that there was no way for her to be that articulate or be able to pull that over on people who were not supposed to be able mm. to fall victim to anything. But I'm from Queensbridge all day long. My hustle ain't my heart, my soul is in my blood. And I never tried to uh, hustle anyone. I became a phenomenal keynote. Now, when you, you, mean when, when, you um, when you go into when you go into the world of academia, when you go speak at these universities and these colleges, they have a list of keynote speakers that they have in different brackets, and they happen okay. to have places like motivational speakers. Exactly. Okay. But you know, it's, it, it it entails a little more because therefore you have to bring in academics with it. When you're talking about it, you're talking about more of the collegiate life. You're talking about things that they've experienced, things that only people who have experienced that could okay. talk about. Okay. So. Um, going to school when I went to Marymount University and they were supposed to be paying for school, Coachella was, then they ran out of money, never told anybody. Mm. So then when you start getting letters from the birth office and anyone who's in uh, college knows this or university knows this, when you start getting those letters, either you pay and you stay or you go to fuck a rat. Yeah, so. So it got to a point where I was unable to complete that, though I do want to do that in my future. I definitely see that. Like, I definitely see that as something I want to do, a published dissertation, receiving a piece. That is something that, because I push for young girls to pursue their education. So in order to do that, I'm a person who does everything 
by what I've experienced. So I definitely know that that is something that Roxanne Shante is going to do. But back to that, everyone started saying the way she speaks, she's got to be a doctor. The way she talks, she has to do this. The way this is, I saw her here. Um, whether it was students that attended these universities, or some of these prestigious universities that I had went and spoke at. Somebody so, ran with it. So they exactly. And the fact is, I just never ran up with them and tried to stop them. I just left it alone. And so, but still delivered on everything that was requested of me. So there was never any second guessing of it. But you but have But you people, being who you are. There you go. They're going to hold you super accountable. Yes, they will. And, and yeah, they yeah. want shots. All right. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to always do that. That's going to always be the case. And that's where uh, being the truth and, and being a born warrior taps in. Because you can take the negative things that people have to say about you, turn them into a positive, and then actually use those as stepping stones and grow from that. And Factual. then they get upset. They get upset when. They hate you more. Yeah. Because now they, 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 they hate you, they and, and, hate and, you more. And sometimes, as warriors, we can fall in some of the deepest trenches where others can never climb out. And, and, I, and I have, and I and have, and then they see our hands. Like you still breathing? You fucking roaches? Yeah, you still you, living? Yeah, I know. And, and they I try know. to, and they'll try to throw everything at you. And the key to to my longevity and my success, and even the the wonderful life that I'm living today is because during even my darkest times, even during some of the times where I didn't even have two nickels to rub together, I still gave somebody that dime. And you know I what? I still gave somebody that 10 cent. And you know what? And so then. And you know what? Mm -hmm. That's, 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 it's, it, I can see that. Yeah. So what's up with Shawn Shawnee now? I mean, I mean, you, to me, in my opinion, you're partly responsible for where battle rap is at now. Yes. Like, do you realize that? Um, like I do because you're the first to bring it on record. Yes. Like I know, I know my history. I know Busy B and Kumo. They were doing it on tape, live at shows. Mm -hmm. But you're the first to bring it on record. Yes. And record records were the first social media. Yes, it was. So you're responsible for battle rap. Well, thank you. What's up with Shawnee now? Well, um, well. Well, Shani is, she's loving life. Like, she's she's married to a woman. You look good. You look good. Thank you. Thank Peace you. Peace to Jabal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was getting ready to say that to you. Peace to Jabal. Yeah, great Peace, minds, gang. Peace, yeah, gang. Yeah, great minds think alike. You know, I'm married to a, a wonderful God with, with full knowledge of self, which you knew was going to be a requirement factual, to be with me factual, anyway. Factual. You know? And um, it's, uh, we've been able to start a nonprofit organization called Mind Over Matter where it allows me to be that Miss Shantae that I wish I would have had. I think she was always there though. I wish, like, I wish I would have had, like, and when I say that I wish I would have had, I meant someone being there for me. I get it, I get it. Right. I so, said that yesterday. Yeah, I, I wish, I said that like, like, I, like no I wanted to, like, I wish I would have had a me when I was 14. But don't you love little Shantae too? Oh, please, I take her for every day. Strong, strong. You know, people ask me all the time, do you regret, and I say, Hell no, how could I? Everything that little Shantae went through allows Shani to live in the houses that she lives in now, drive what she drives, eat what she eats, uh, do the job that she does, speak the way she speaks. I would not change anything I went through. And even greater than that, spark much more life. Yes, you know, the good, that's what it is. People tend to take something that happens to them, grab onto it, and that's the reason why they fail. Stop. I grab onto it, that's the reason why I succeed. Blood. And I walk with my past, so this way nobody can nobody can throw it at me. Oh yeah, you used to boost. I said sure did. Shit. That's right. Some prices, some shit. That's what, like Mama says. If I love my mama, you as sick as your secrets. You as sick as your secrets. That's how I measure you too, through my mama. That's right. And, and look, and 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 as you see, you know, you start to heal spiritually. You start to heal emotionally. You start to learn to set um, boundaries. You know, because when you're a person that that can go out here, you, you're almost like a superhero. And you're out here, you know, fighting crime, defending this one, defending that one, but everybody forgets you when the daytime comes. Who's but gonna pour in your cup? You know, there you go. Thankfully you have Jabbar. I see Absolutely. you pour in your cup. And I was gonna say that I pay attention. Yeah. It costs you everything when you don't pay attention and it costs you nothing to pay attention. Absolutely. You know what I'm I love that. I like Speaking that. of pouring in cups, ahead, these I drinks, eat some what, what, oh, what's yeah. the what's the drink? How do we then you, you, there's a Okay, oh yeah, thing. okay, so here you go. All right, so here's, this is your red cup, because this is okay. where it's going to end up. Yep. Now. What are you doing? Now, 
back she in the a, she has a secret drink. Oh, oh, now, right. you, now back in the days, you couldn't really, you know, I really couldn't afford Lipton iced tea mix. Okay. So for me today, it's actually a delicacy. Like I really enjoy it. But I try not to make too much of it because you know you make a picture of it inside the house, everybody's gonna drink it. Nobody's gonna drink water. Mm -hmm. Now if you grew up in Queensbridge, the key is everybody from Queensbridge drunk water. That's the reason why we look the way we look. That's the reason why we didn't age. Everybody from Queensbridge drunk water out the bathroom. Mm. It was the coldest. It was the coldest. Mm. Everybody had to drink water out the bathroom. Right. So, you know, this was like a treat for me. So this is lip and ice tea mix. So what you do is, okay. um, do I have one? Thank you. Let me open it for you. Please. So, get your water. Thank you. Now, there's no measuring. Okay. Let's go for it. You just go for it. There ain't no measuring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, pour, you just pour some of the cup. Okay. Oh, so, so the tea first. The tea first. Yeah, the tea first. Yeah, now see me? Because now it's my shit and I can do it. <laughs> I cover the whole bottom up to that first line. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's a lot, but that's for me. That's I like sugary, it. okay. That's Yeah, I like mine sweet like I'm gonna work with you on that. Yeah, so there, you there you go. So then, okay. you know what I'm saying? You shake your own trouble. That's the catch. That's when people, yeah, when it comes to anything that people want to drink and put inside their bodies, you let them shake their own trouble. Okay. This way they can't blame them. All right. You held the wheel. Okay. The first line or the second line? No, I do it to, I do it to that first, that first, that first line. You, you talking about that, that ain't even a line. I don't even count that, that's the bottom of the cup. Yeah, that's right. Head. All right. Yeah, cool. I, All right. I want to make sure. Yeah. So. There we go. Powder. And let me get that over to Mr. Ab via you. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Absolutely. I'm grabbing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now. Guess what you got to do? Yeah. Okay. You got to take your piece of watermelon. Let's get there. Pop the watermelon now. Boop. Now you can make some people like two pieces. It sounds pen. like me. I do that. Boop. Yeah, you gotta Boop. have. Let me tell you, life is about sound effects. <laughs> Hold up, how much did you put in No, 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 that's good. If you like it's just super sweet, then yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. Okay, there you go. She's there you like, go. I'm, what did I'm you looking like, y'all look like, hold up, how can much I, you put in there? Can I get some watermelon, sis? Yes, I'm getting ready to pass it to you right there. Please, you can't. Please, you There you go. So, go ahead, and you just... There you go. Okay, I'm gonna hang on. And I'm gonna take a little piece. You can always slice a piece, slice a little... Nah, let's go right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pass this to you. Okay. Here you go. Oh, you. So now we add our water. So now, I'm gonna add your water. Let's do it. Now, that's enough in the cup. It should leave you a little bit in the bottle. You know we gotta pour some out for people who's not here. Just a little bit of water. It used to be liquor, but we living right. Yeah, we living right, so we give them some water. You know, we understand that you gotta stay hydrated. You know what I'm saying? Factual. You know. So now we're gonna spin this, we're gonna mix this. Right. So now. He drunk it. He drunk it. <laughs> I, I poured it out too. Okay. Oh, all right. I wasn't judging you. I just said. Now, you, all right, now look, me. since nobody is drunk from their cup, we can all use the same spoon. Okay. Because nobody is drunk from their cup. That's a factory. So. And then, you know, you stir it up, you mix it, you talk, you laugh, you think about how good life is, you know. This is like your libation. Life, life is good right Absolutely. now, Absolutely, that it it's is. An artifact. Pass it to you. Life is good. Life is good. You know, blessings to your family. That's right. You know, blessings to for you to blessings achieve the things you blessings. want. You know, blessings upon blessings. Absolutely. Oh, you got me doing a meditation. You, yes. hell, I see you. I don't think I don't see you now. You got us doing a meditation and all that. Yes. I see you. Look, look at your ball. She a, she a, she a good one. <laughs> oh, man, I done spilled it, but guess what? I just spilled it into the earth for it to come back full circle, man. There you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, make sure I get all the sugar from the bottom. See, he likes to get all the sugar from the bottom. See, me, I leave some of my sugar on the bottom, so when I drink it, it's even sweeter at the end. Yeah, we got, we got our way. Because it's like life. Sweeter okay, at the end. We got our way. There you go. Stir that up. I took a sip already. I, I, you took the look and you couldn't even wait. Yeah. You're supposed to wait so wow. we can do the cheers. Yeah. <laughs> you show me do, man. I was like, yo, I gotta take you. Wow. <laughs> okay. All that good. Okay, so here we go. Living the whole life. Good life without Thank question. You. Thank you so much. Every day fellas. both parents will be a I, blessing. Absolutely. I Good truly time. appreciated this. This appreciate was wonderful. Appreciate you. Absolutely. 
on the child. That's an artifact. The watermelon wow, giving good. a nice little, not too See? much, that smooth, good. subtle, See? subtle sweetness. See, that's what it, that's what I'm talking about because that's what it is. You don't have to have too much sugar. You add just enough in there. The watermelon just reminds you, like, man, look at this. You remind me of commanding, not demanding. I like that. When you demand something, you over. You doing too much. When you command it naturally, innately, yes. it's your birthright. Yes. Huh? I think that's something that we have naturally started giving off as we get to a point in life. And I just want to say, fellas, I wish you, and I'm not even wish you because I know you're going to have so much success with this, but I'm going to tell you, I told this, you I'm going to be back on the show again because we got to do a winter version where I get some nice baking in. Thanksgiving's coming up. You know what I'm saying? Every we giving thanks for us and our nation and our rules, so, you know. Absolutely, see? So, yeah, we need to do that, definitely. Shout out to getting some tofurkey. Wow. Or yogi. Mm-hmm. That's the truth, Lee. <laughs> touch my glass. Cut off his spong. Atlantean. <laughs> yes, sire. Mm. Great day on the chow. Uh, oh, man. This was like a real sober moment. I felt like... Y'all already know how I felt. Y'all saw it. I feel good. I ain't ashamed, too. Like, that's a beautiful thing, man, when you could do that, when you could make me feel that way. You know what I'm saying? It takes a, a certain kind of person to make me feel that way. And I love that, man. I appreciate that more than I can ever say. More than any words can ever say. It's beyond me. You know what I'm saying? As it should be. Salute, baggage, karate shot. I love you, Queen. I love Hold you, up. too. Artifact. You <laughs> too. Give me a hug. Absolutely. I need one of those on the top. So I'm safe. Thank you, Jabal. On the channel, Roxanne Shantae. You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get Maki too. Mushy no more I like this here. Absolutely. Thank you so the next much. one's gonna be chicken and waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and eat my shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>